Hello everyone, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Thank you. So, we are very privileged to have a fantasy school like us. So, like brother, my student has been in school until like 19 years. So, same, I was born in like Christian background, so I was going to Sunday school from my childhood, but we had just started at, seven, at the age of seven, we started Sunday school in our place. But so, from last, like two years, I'm going to the space. And I want to share like a, it's a one verse. Uh, I was reading like in daily scripture, so come back to Ezek, uh, his skill. Um, chapter 14, verse 14. Um, Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they would deliver only themselves by their righteousness, says the Lord God. So, like, it's, it's talking about three great people, like Noah, Daniel, and Job. And come down to same same kill chapter 14, verse 20. Even though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, and I, as I live, says the Lord God, they would deliver neither son nor daughter, they would deliver only themselves by the righteousness. So it, this one it also speaks, like even if your your parents, like because I come from a Christian background, my parents are like very righteous, like, and they, uh, but it doesn't say it's like your sons or daughters, so it doesn't apply to you. So it ap applies for individual. I forgot the click. <laughs> and uh, so I just want to highlight only two words here. In those two verses, the one thing is saying like the righteousness. So have you, like we read these words every time in, thank you, uh, in like a, every gospel, like uh, what's the meaning of like righteous or righteousness or if anyone of the knows, like, uh, so I just searched in internet and okay. So righteous. So I checked this word in the internet and it says like uh, uh, being righteous means uh, you need to be um, to, to be right, like in like moral way. And like, allowed me like religiously, like uh, like uh, what the people is doing, and uh, I had to follow the laws. So that's just showing the uh, like uh, in the religious view of the righteous thing. And I checked like in the computer, like how many times it is written in the Bible, and uh, it says 555 times. It's easy to remember, 555. Five, five. <laughs> and uh, it's not like right. It says like righteous, righteously, righteousness, righteousness. So these are the five like uh, times it's written in the whole Bible. So I want to highlight like few of the verses which are there in the Bible, and I'll show you like first. The, a person in the Bible who, about it was written. Uh, if you see this picture, what we get to know about this person? Like, if anyone kids know? It's like there are two people. Yes, yeah. yeah, so, so it's Abel. So, and uh, about it, the God told in like First John 3.12, not as Cain who was uh, of the wicked one and slew his brother and wherefore slew he him because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous so i think it's too small uh, so that's why i just read for you and it says like uh, the able like uh, he gave, gave like a good thing so and there's also one more in hebrews chapter 11 and verse 4 as well by faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testified of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. So even because he, he is righteous, so he was doing good like uh, in like moral way, so he gave the good offerings, and because of the righteousness he was killed, like uh, he was killed by his brother. And but we, even if, if you're righteous, you will be known like that's what he says. And I want to tell another next person in this uh, another picture here. And whom do you think this picture might be? 
No, I get. So it's, it's, uh, if you go to Genesis chapter 1, we have the full story about it. But I want to highlight only one word. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I have seen righteous before me in this generation. So in the whole world, there is the God wanted to destroy, but there's only one person, and that was Noah. And what happened if we have another verse in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7 as well? By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with a fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. So, like, um, by, the, by his faith, like, uh, like uh, he was righteous to the God, and because of one person, we all got saved using the, um, the boat, like he, all animals, everything, he, we all got saved and we tilled here. And the next third person, and whom do you think this person will be? <laughs> Abraham, yeah. And uh, we know about Abraham as well, it's written in Genesis chapter 15, verse 6. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for his righteousness. So is Jesus telling about Abraham? And we have few verses even in New Testament, James chapter two, verse twenty-three. Uh, and the scripture was fulfilled, which said, Abraham, Abraham believed God, and he was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the fa the friend of God. Uh, and also in Galatians chapter 3 verse 6 as well. Even as Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. So, and this is the third person God speaking about. And also uh, another person, this is a little difficult I believe. Do you think who this person might be? Job. Job, perfect. So in Job 15 verse 14, and is also written about him. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. And also in, uh, come back to Job 32, verse one as well. So these three men, so this, but these three men ceased to answer Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. So even like Job was also a, a righteous per a person, like according, like just now read in HKL chapter 14, uh, 14, like this Noah, Daniel, and Job, even this Daniel is up there, but uh, these all are on like uh, previously, but I want to tell about current, like, um, in, if you go to Romans uh, chapter 3 verse 10, uh, and it says, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. So, according to the uh, word of God, like we, no, no one is there in the world uh, that is righteous. So, so still now we got like who is like a righteous person, like and there is no one in the entire world. But in but according to the gospel, like we have one person uh, that is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And it's also written in our New Testament. If you, um, if you to, uh, turn to Gospel according to Luke, and chapter 23 and verse 47, and it is uh, speaking about the centurion. Is uh, centurion is watching, and when the centurion saw what was done, he gl glorified God, saying, "Certainly this man, this was a righteous man." So he's talking about the centurion, and we also have uh, in in uh, all other gospels as well, and uh, why he came. Like uh, I have three chapters, but I want to read only from one of them. So you have Luke chapter five verse thirty-two, and in Mark two chapter seventeen and Matthew nine thirteen. So all three works tell the same thing. I came not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. So in the world, like we don't have any righteous people. We all are sinners. So, uh, so Jesus Christ came to the world to, um, for our sinners. And it insists in repentance. So, so what he had to do is, we had to do repentance for our sins. 
and if you don't repent, like uh, the sinners, like I will tell you, like uh, what happens to the people in the sinners is in First Corinthians, chapter six and nine and ten verses. It says like, who are all the sinners? Like, uh, and what will go say? If, no, e, not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived neither fornicators, nor idolaters, adulterers, or effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, and verse 10, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor rivalers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So like if you are anyone on this list, so they'll be, they won't go to the kingdom of God, they, they'll go to this uh, the other place called the hell. Like, and it's like a burning f fire and the, like uh, it's, a, it's a lake of fire so that's really showing a, a lake so and it doesn't stop and uh, that, that's what's said in the bible and in, if you want to escape this one there is uh like i, I just show you like even like a uh, prophet like noah daniel and job they will be only delivered in this space but not their sons or their daughters so in here like we have a lot of kids like I, my father goes to um prayer and we think we got we, my father will take me to say but it doesn't happen like that there's only like a uh, uh two ways like uh i'll show you a picture so what is this is romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10 onwards so you see two pictures so one is heart and one is mouth so we need to do with two things so if if I, I can tell my little kids uh, with mouth and they can uh, do the other things, but it says we had to do with both. So if, if, if I read the full verse, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in their heart. So you should, you should be uh, with the mouth and they should believe. So that's the two things we have to do. Uh, that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So if you do those two things, you will you get saved. And even next verse, chapter 10 as well. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So if anyone hasn't done, uh, has done any of those two things, like uh, this is the right time. We don't have... Uh, a tomorrow or a next minute and we can't say like uh, how long you'll be living and I'm, I'm just too young or uh, so we have to follow these two steps and it'll be easy like even like little kids will know like uh, okay I need to do two things in order to get uh, saved uh, like our parents uh, we, we come here and I want to uh, uh, highlight next four verse, verses from uh four of them and first john chapter one verse nine it says like if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness if you do those two things what happens he will uh, if you if you had uh, need to speak with our mouth he doesn't say uh, like it says if we confess our sins so if if you tell with your mouth he is faithful and just to forgive our sins so whatever sins you done till now he will forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness so till now we are it says like no one is uh, is not, not righteous no 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 one so if we are all unrighteous so jesus christ will uh, clean all our sins for unrighteousness and uh, I want to go to next verse as well. It says the same in Hebrews chapter 8, verse 12. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and the sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. So if you confess, Jesus Christ won't remember your sins anymore. So whatever you've done till now is gone. But there's another thing in First Peter chapter 3, verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are, are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is evil against them that do evil. So if you are 
righteous god will listen to you and he listen to your prayers but if you do evil and he will turn away from you and as a christians and if you uh, look at uh, romans chapter 8 verse 10 and if christ be in you the body is dead because of sin but the spirit is life because of righteousness so our heavenly body like this one will live someday uh, but uh, we have another thing in our mind this is spirit so when we confess our sins and believe in our heart what happens is like our heaven like this mortal like a mortal body will die one day uh, not sure when but the spirit will live forever the, that's what and that and the finally i want to conclude like if you do all these things like god will give you a reward and that reward uh, we can look at um, second timothy um, chapter 4 verse 8 is uh, so what he says is he henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day and not to me only but unto all them also that lo love his appearing so if you do we all meet uh, uh, after the multiple the spirit will go to, to heaven and in we all meet one day it's only not for me so it gives for everyone so that's uh, a crown of righteousness so we all get that crown and that will be given by who he says and which the lord the righteous judge. so it's not like a me or anyone this is righteous the jesus christ judge he, uh, he's only one unrighteous he will give it to you and we all wait uh, wait for his appearing and uh, i thank you if, uh, if you haven't uh, confessed any of those things i just do it today because we don't have much time and we don't know the time we had come so I'll close word of prayer. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the gospel meeting we preached today and we give um, all the kids or the elders who have listened to the gospel openly and who haven't confessed their sins till now and I want to give their location and want to confess today they got the, so that they might get saved and when they uh, come to you and we also think about the righteousness and how uh, the we have none has left in righteousness and we, through you we all got saved and um, we can come into you in the the next uh, message as well and we we praise thee and we remember thee in the name of the lord jesus christ amen